and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am testing these three different methods of uh, cleaning the silicon off my paintings. Now as you know normally I wash my paintings with LOC from Amway and water and I do a couple of washes and um, but when I'm painting on records I'm a little bit um, concerned that that will wash off and I haven't been doing it and I've been trying different methods I thought well hey let's try some actual degreasers you know that that's what they're designed to do get rid of grease usually automotive grease but silicon is used on those sorts of things so I've got 30 seconds automotive degreaser I've got a neighbor that's making a lot of banging <laughs> I picked up this from um, Uncle Bill's in town. It's an everyday degreaser from Polycraft. And this one is Mr. Muscle Glass and Surface Multi-Purpose. Streak Free Shine Removes Grease and Grime. So let's give that one a go. So I'm going to do the three. And then I'm going to try, once I've cleaned them all, try doing, what's that thing called? resin so I'm out here on the trampoline and um, let's have a look what these all say to do so 30 seconds is made in New Zealand distributed in Australia so if you're anywhere else you might not be able to use this one um, duh, 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 duh. shake well spray evenly on the surface let it sit for a minimum of five minutes and scrub if necessary rinse with water or wipe down with a clean damp cloth that's my target, wiping with a clean damp cloth. So, um, let's put this on to spray. Get it spraying. And, can you guys see this? And it said to leave for five minutes. So, start with that one. See if, what that creates. This one says spray on, allow to dissolve at room temperature for up to one minute and then simply hose off with water and spray the surface. Okay, this one says spray on, spray and wipe away. Okay, cool. So let's give this one a go. It's a aerosol. So you know, with most aerosols, recommend to use them outside. I'm going to go down so that we don't get close straight. Ooh! Oh, goodness me. That one's a foam. <laughs> Just make sure that foam goes over everything. My concern is that it will eat the paint, and that's what I definitely don't want to do. But that's okay. If it eats the paint, it eats the paint, right? That's why we do experiments. Now I'm seeing this doing what resin normally does and resisting in certain places and I'm kind of hoping that the resisting isn't just <laughs> resisting where the paint is. So I'm just going to do this one straight away without leaving it to sit because it said only for a minute. Um, Keep. probably recommend using gloves on this for future it's kind of feeling a bit weird all right I've got the hose here so I'm just going to rinse this off Okay, I am seeing a little bit just in here of the paint doing weird stuff. The edges are a little bit weird as well. So let's wipe it down. I'm just patting it dry just to get the bulk of any 
moisture off so that it doesn't it's not the water that's causing any problems if there are any problems all right so I'm going to leave that to dry and see what it's like in the morning now the 30 seconds walk away this is wipe with a clean, damp cloth or wash I'm going to just going to wash them all off so that we've got a similar uh, feedback on all of them Now I'm not seeing any degradation of the paint. So let's dry that one off too. I'm trying to keep the methods as similar as we can so that we're not, you know, only change in, in any science experiment you only change one one thing so we've it's looking pretty good so let's wait and see what that result from that one is so moving on to Mr. Muscle it's just a window cleaner guys so um, these are all brand new I've never used any of them before Except, of course, the LOC, because it's my favourite. Alright. Spray. Doesn't say to leave it, but I'm just going to give it a few seconds just to do its thing. Got a little bit of purple coming off there, but not too bad. Yeah, see there's definitely some paint residue coming off on my on my sponge. How's it getting any better? So we'll leave that one to dry as well. And last but not least, we'll do our standard test. And that is with our LOC. Put a little bit of water on my cloth some LOC now LOC stands for liquid organic cleaner and this is not a paid promotion from Amway <laughs> I've been buying Amway products for oh, 20 plus years now I really love some of the core products I'm only doing all the others once, so I'm only going to do this one once as well. And then we can get a fair, fair test. Let's rinse that off. So 
So why do I use LSD normally? Well, the the old uh, what's it called demonstration we used to do when I was actually selling the stuff was you got shoe polish and rubbed it all over your hands, and then you um, put one pump of LSD on your hands and it was gone. It just washed rubbed off it was great so that is why I use use this I know a lot of people in the States use Dawn dish soap we don't get Dawn in New Zealand and I have no idea what the equivalent would be anybody that's in New Zealand that would know what the equivalent to Dawn would be in New Zealand let me know in the comments so there we have four records and let's give them 24 hours to dry. See you back soon. Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Back again after letting these to dry for a couple of days. Um, so just going to go over each of them with a, um, a bit of kitchen towel and uh, isopropyl alcohol just to get any dust off um, and this will also give me some awareness about how that um, the paint has been affected um, I had the awareness that I so we've got a little bit of blue coming out there but not much really um sorry get the sun up. sunshine good morning um yeah that that one's looking pretty good that was the 30 seconds spray and walk away automotive degreaser so that one's looking quite good there's a little bit of um kind of a fuzziness and I'm not sure whether that was there before I started I have to look back on the video and check that um, around there this next one which was the everyday degreaser that was the foaming one um, again there's a bit of deterioration around the edge there but nowhere else that I can see is there any deterioration. So I'm just going to give that quick, quick wipe down. Obviously, if these were all identical, if I'd done them all exactly the same, the same paint, it would be a lot easier to compare. A little bit of the purple come off, but not much. Um, oops. And just here on the edges, that actually looks a bit thinner than it was originally. It looks like there has been some loss of paint around the edges. Not excited about that. I'm using a clean cloth each time so we don't get any cross contamination. Please don't harass me for using too much paper. <laughs> uh, so this one was the Mr. Muscle class glass and surface multi-purpose. Um, not seeing any damage as such on that one and that was just a spray and wipe scenario um, do have some paint coming off I'm not excited about that but on the second wipe over it looks like we're good so um, the question then becomes is there any damage to the actual painting because we don't you know we do these beautiful paintings and we don't want to end up with the paint all coming off I'm not seeing any damage to that one so that's good Probably making dust on these other ones that I've just beautifully polished. 
as I rip off the next page. And the last one was the one I did with my standard process with LOC. Where's my sun going? It's moving. Now I can actually see oil spots on this one. And I would normally wash it twice or three times. So I'm not actually surprised about that. Again, just a little bit of paint coming off, but not much. And that wipe with alcohol seems to have helped. So, I'm going to mix up my resin. I am using art resin, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I've mixed up my resin. I've done a really bad job of it. I didn't warm the resin before I started mixing. So I've got lots of bubbles in there. But they'll come out after I've poured. Um, and I'm just going to put some on each. Spread it around. Oh, that one's obviously not flat. Look at that. Scooting off on its own direction. I've just had this lovely... Oh, Linda, that's amazing! Linda... Are you, <laughs> this? Are you having fun? I'm, I'm recording, actually, honey. So, <laughs> Linda is one of our amazing contributors on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun group. And she also leaves lots of comments for me on my videos. And um, I found out she lives just down the road from me. Well, what is it? Three quarters of an hour. Three quarters of an hour drive away. So she's come over to the Big Smoke of Rotorua to um, do some shopping and have lunch with me. How did I get so lucky? So this is cool. So just doing this, I started doing this while I was waiting for her and then she caught me out. So <laughs> how does it get any better? All right, so I'm just going to spread these all out and um, then we will see if they start to resist oops that one's not flat either losing it over the side so i'll be back once i've spread these all out okay this may not be easy to show you but the degreaser that one is looking beautiful it's got absolutely no divots in it at all. I'm trying to get the sun to show you that. There's no divots. But moving over to my um, Mr. Muscle. I'm pretty sure. Is that right? Did I do it that way? I think I did. This one has got a divot. Let me show you. It's only a little one, but it's there. And then it's got another one over there. Other than that, it's pretty good. This one, which was my LOC, still has a divot in it. Let me see if I can... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there it is over there. Let's see over there. Um, and then this one, which is the 30 seconds degreaser. I can't really see because my husband's ringing and my phone has done a pop-up. There we go. Uh, that's got one there and one there. So, the one I'm concerned has actually affected the paint, did a beautiful job of getting rid of all the grease, and absolutely pristine, no divots at all. The others have all got little ones. So, I'm going to leave these to dry, and I'll do a second coat on them to finish them. Um, but I do really love the, the shine and the glow that they get when they've been resined. They just come out so pretty. Um, so there we go. I'll let these dry and then I will give you the final verdict. Um, just how much of a divot they create as they dry. Just going to walk away. Leave them to it. So I'll be back once they've dried. Okay, so here they are. They all look very pretty from this angle. But as we come down and we start to see 
the light reflecting on it. We have one successful treatment, which is the one at the back there. And then we've got two, three that have little blemishes in them. So, um, you know, maybe if I'd sprayed and wiped twice and not once, maybe if I'd LOC'd twice and not once, and, uh, you know, 30 seconds, spray and walk away, automotive degreaser. Who knows? But this one over here is absolutely perfect. Absolutely glass finished. Look at that. Yummy! Um, so, I will be definitely trying this one again. See if we get a similar result again. And really, next time I do it, I will very much check my edges. And just really go over and video the edges and make sure that I've got a clear picture of what it was like beforehand so that I can really make a final judgment as to whether or not that is one I would be willing to go with but the winner on the day polycraft everyday degreaser and that was the foaming one so yeah there we go guys that's my video log for the day and uh, I will be back with you tomorrow which is which will be Friday my time oh 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 and news I'm going live Sunday morning my time which is Saturday for US and Europe I will be going live um at 8 a.m. Sunday morning and so that will work that out so that's um, 8 p.m. UTC time and um, I will get these ones finished off and up and ready for sale how does it get any better how much yumminess can these contribute to somebody's life? I will recoat those three though. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks again for joining me. If you would like to join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun and you're willing to be kind, come play. Find us uh, Acrylic Pouring for Fun on Facebook. We'd love to have you come join us. This month's a challenge is May the 4th be with you so star wars theme and um but special treat in your mother's favorite colors how does it get any better than that um yeah may the fourth be with you in your mother's favorite colors i really don't know what i'm gonna do yet how does it get any better than that see you soon bye